is behind, the consequences of the crash are behind? Yeah, exactly, I feel good. Uh, no headache, no sore back, no sore leg, uh, no sore shoulders, so uh, all good with that. But uh, I think today it's uh, more the disappointment of uh, not knowing that we were riding for the victory. So, uh, yeah, my own fault, but uh, probably the sport director said it in the radio, but there were so many people on the on the climb and they were pretty far back so uh, I just probably didn't hear it but it's uh, it's a real shame because I just went to Rogic's wheel uh, yeah just super easy just to follow on the line just not knowing there was a, a victory to grab so uh, it's a pity and it's just a shame that I didn't take my second stage win here and also uh, some seconds lost to Primos um, but also some second gained on, gained on the others but uh, yeah it's uh, it's a shame, and uh, I think I feel a bit stupid actually. Renko, you know, Movitma took the responsibility during the stage, and you took it in that last climb. Take us through the tactics on today's stage. Yeah, we wanted to see what Jumbo was going to do, and when we saw that they controlled it, then uh, we were quite happy with that. And then uh, I said to the guys, "Look, the first steep kilometer of the climb, we just go full, and uh, after that, I will do my race." I quickly saw there was not many guys anymore in the wheel, so uh, then Sap attacked, and I kind of controlled it because I didn't want to close it immediately because I knew it was still uh, about eight, ten minutes to climb, and uh, it seemed that the Primos and Jonas, um, yeah, also didn't have the legs to to go in the end. Uh, so. So yeah, just a shame because uh, we miss out from a second stage win with the team in a very beautiful stage on my uh, second home road. So it's a bit, uh, it's a pity and it's uh, a pretty, uh, how do you say, it? a bitter pill to uh, to swallow. So uh, up to tomorrow.